you first load Office 365, Outlook will be the first Office 365 app that loads. So we're going to switch over to Sites. Once we're in Sites, you'll notice that there are a number of promoted sites up along the top. Oftentimes folks get confused about promoted sites versus the sites that they create. Promoted sites are those that the IT department or an entire organization likes to promote. So these might be school-wide sites, um, such as school-wide clubs, or perhaps a school intranet um, for resources that are only accessible to teachers, but they have a very large audience. Promoted sites are bookmarked for everybody, um, and that's all controlled by the IT department. You'll see below that I do have sites that I'm following, but I'm gonna start up in the gear next to my name, and then select Site Contents. There, I'm going to see the default apps that are set up in Office 365. What I want to do is create a new subsite, and you'll see a number of sites that I've created listed in the bottom. Subsites are attributed to you, so they're not organization-wide sites. They're created by users, teachers, and students alike. When we click New Subsite, we have to give that site a name and a description. So for our purposes, I'm going to create a tech review blog for students and give it a brief description. Then I'm also going to decide what the website address is. Now, because we use Office 365 across the entire school, that's not a very short web address. You'll see that there are a number of slashes, but you still do get to customize uh, the end of uh, your website. So I'm just gonna call mine tech reviews and you'll see that I also have templates that are pre-made. For the purpose of creating a blog, I select blog. But if you're interested in creating a site for other purposes, such as for a team or a project site, you'll see you do get a brief description underneath as you select. And this is a key part under permissions. When giving permissions, you want to set unique permissions, especially if you want to keep your site contained to just your students and we'll keep the default settings below. When we click on Create, we will have a little bit of time to wait as Office 365 creates our new site. And then we'll be directed over to create those specific sharing settings.